What is going on guys? I haven't said that in a long time. How are you guys all doing? It is the beginning of the week. So right now I'm headed to the post office. I need to pick up a package that was left or wasn't deliverable because I got a slip saying that I need to go pick it up. And it says that I wasn't able to pick it up, which doesn't make sense because the package should have been in the box, mailbox, or been delivered to me at my door. But that didn't happen. I got a slip. This isn't the first time. I don't know if it's a new mail person, but it's not a big deal. It's only about a five minute drive from the apartments. And that's where I'm headed now. Um, and then I am gonna be going to, you guessed it, Beaverton, to do a couple of uh, errands, and then I'm gonna do some Uber Eats. Today is really nice out. It's sunny. It's gonna be in the mid to upper 50s. Not raining, not snowing. Uh, I think that the rain's coming back tomorrow though. So I'm gonna try to enjoy this nice weather and see what see what happens. Wow, this little reflection. I like it. Let me know in the comments if you guys like that, that, that little reflection that's going on. Oh, that was a little rainbow effect. I like it, I like it. Okay, so while I was on the subject of Uber Eats, I do want to mention there was a new update on iPhone, iOS. I don't know if this update is on Android. Uh, I did check out my friend's phone, an S8, and she didn't have the new version of Uber Eats or Uber Driver app. Uh, but with this new update, when you go to the ratings tab, there's only one percentage, and that's satisfaction percentage, and that's it. There's no more, I think there's, there were two other percentage, I can't think what it was, but those are no longer there. It's just satisfaction percentage. I did a little digging on Reddit for some answers, and a lot of users are saying that with this new update and with only satisfaction showing up, we as Uber drivers can skip and reject Uber Eats orders as many times as we want without getting a, you know, a ding on your account or uh, stuff like that. But if you do skip and reject offers like five, six or seven times all at once, you will automatically go offline or Uber Eats will pop up saying, would you like to go offline? And you'll have to you know click stay online uh, that's the only downside it's not really a downside you're still gonna be online um, but yeah that's the new update so if you're worried about possibly getting deactivated don't worry um, users are saying that shouldn't happen uh, but please don't go with what I'm saying do a little research on reddit do a little research on Google um, and see um, also, it helps if you go to your local Uber Greenlight Hub, maybe they have answers. Uh, but with Reddit, most of the users are saying that they have already talked to Uber or they already went to the Greenlight Hub. Um, so that's that. So that is the new update. Make sure you update to the latest Uber Partner Driver app. Um, and let me know in the comments below if your version shows only satisfaction percentage. Uh, for most iPhone, or I think all iPhones, should show up as just satisfaction percentage. Mine does. I'll have a little screenshot or a thumbnail that shows mine. Um, but that's the update. Make sure you update, guys, because I want to know in the comments if, if it's just satisfaction showing up. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm out. Again, if you guys are new, and thinking about signing for Uber Eats or Postmates, both of them are offering referral bonuses. I don't know what the amount is for Postmates because that's gonna vary, but also Uber Eats is gonna vary. But Uber Eats will give you a higher amount for referrals. So maybe try both. But I would definitely recommend doing Uber Eats and then Postmates because as I said, Uber Eats will give you a better amount for complete a referral so enough of me talking i'm gonna drive i'm about to go on the highway i'm gonna end it here i'll see you guys in the next video